Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing the TMI or too much information tag. I've been seeing this going around YouTube lately and I think it's a lot of fun. It kind of reminds me of like the Facebook notes that people used to do and like MySpace notes um, that people would do when they were bored, which were something that I did all the time. I thought they were a blast. And I thought it would be a good way for you guys to get to know me a little bit better since I just started my channel. So I'm going to go through and answer some questions about myself. Today I am wearing a purple, about three quarter lengths, long sleeve shirt from Maurice's and then underneath that I have a white tank top from Target and then I have American Eagle jeans on that I just actually got yesterday when I was shopping with my sister and purple fuzzy socks. I have been in love before and I am currently in love. I think that everybody has breakups that are not so great. Usually breakups aren't going to be fun or pleasant for anybody. Um, most of my breakups haven't been completely horrendous. I stayed friends with a lot of my ex-boyfriends, but um, there have been a couple that I wish I would have handled a little bit better or differently when I was going through them, but you live and you learn. I am five foot two and a half inches tall. I weigh somewhere between 115 and 118. I currently do not have any tattoos, and I don't know that I would ever go get any tattoos. Um, I'm not entirely sure that I have anything that I would be willing to put on my body permanently. I have two piercings in each ear, it's just both are on my earlobe. My OTP, I have a couple from a couple different shows. Right now, I really like Zoe and Wade from Heart of Dixie. I also really like Sherlock and Molly from the BBC version of Sherlock. And then also, my long-term OTP is Veronica and Logan from Veronica Mars. My favorite show kind of varies. I have some ones that I love that are no longer on the air, and then I watch a lot of random TV shows pretty consistently. Uh, my all-time favorite ones would probably be Veronica Mars and Gilmore Girls. And then also, I really love um, Parks and Rec right now, and Heart of Dixie has been a recent kind of guilty pleasure favorite. My favorite bands have changed a lot as I've grown up. Right now, if I had to say a favorite band, and it had to be like a band and not a musical artist, I would say Mumford & Sons. Um, other ones that really come to mind are Say Anything and The Spill Canvas. I used to love them when I was younger and I still really love some of their songs. For something I miss, um, I think about kind of the stages I've gone through my life. So when I graduated college I moved away from all of my college friends and I definitely miss a lot of them. I haven't seen most of my college friends in a while and then this last year I also transitioned from the school that I was working at the last couple of years to a new city and a new school and I definitely miss the people and the friends that I made while I was living in that town um, so I definitely miss the teachers that I used to work with. My all-time favorite song would probably have to be The Chain by Ingrid Michaelson and I also love the song All Heal the Heartbreaker by The Spill Canvas. I am 24, I will be 25 in April. For my zodiac sign, I'm kind of on the cusp of two zodiac signs. I'm between the Aries and the Taurus, depending on what I'm looking at. Um, some people say that it ends on the 19th of April, some people say it starts on the 20th of April, um, so it kind of just depends, but I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to the zodiac signs. There are several qualities that I look for in a partner, but I would say two of the biggest ones would probably be um, loyalty or trustworthiness and humor. My favorite quote comes from the book Invisible Cities by Italo Calvino, and what it is is, Seek and learn to recognize who and what in the midst of the inferno are not inferno. Then make them endure. Give them space. I think this quote is great just because life in general is going to be a mix of things. It's always going to be, you know, tough and there's going to be good parts and you need to find the best parts of your life and find a way to make those the most important parts rather than focusing on the bad. 
don't really know that I have a favorite actor right now. There's actors that I like to watch. Um, I really like Benedict Cumberbatch right now. I really like Ryan Gosling. Um, eh. My favorite color right now is definitely mint green. Most of the time I prefer loud music. I like to jam out in the car. It wakes me up, it gets me motivated during the morning, and it keeps me awake during like long car trips. And then also, if I'm alone in my apartment, then I just like to jam out, dance around the apartment, listen to loud music. Usually when I'm sad, my favorite place to be is on my couch or in bed. I kind of sleep a lot when I'm sad, and that's my go-to response if I'm dealing with something. I kind of mope and just sleep and veg out on my couch or in my bed. The amount of time it takes me to shower really kind of depends on how much time I have. If I'm getting ready for school in the morning, then I can usually shower in about five minutes. If I'm, you know, showering on the weekend and I have time just to kind of pamper myself and relax, it can be closer to 15. My answer for getting ready in the morning is kind of the same thing. Um, if I have a lot of time, I can take a lot more time and get ready in like two hours, doing my hair all out, doing my makeup all out. If I have to get ready really fast in the morning, I can get ready within like a half hour. Um, I usually try to allow myself about 45 minutes to get ready though. I have never been in like a serious physical fight with anybody. I've been in, you know, like horsing around fights with my brothers and sisters and things when I was growing up, but never like a real honest angry fight. I think sense of humor is really important for me to be attracted to somebody um, and intelligence I think is also kind of important. Willful ignorance and overconfidence. I first started watching a lot of YouTube videos when I moved to a new town to start my first teaching job and I didn't know anybody there so I was really bored and didn't have a whole lot to do. I watched a ton of videos and I thought that maybe I could do them myself. I thought I could offer a new perspective. There's some different products that I use that I never see anybody talking about on YouTube and some just general tips and tricks I know about saving some money that I thought could be useful to other people. Snakes. The last time I cried was a couple weeks ago. I just had a really rough day and was feeling kind of overwhelmed and super stressed. The last time I said I love you was last night. My YouTube name is just my first and middle name. Um, not a whole lot to it. The last book I completely finished was Allegiant by Veronica Roth, the last book in the Divergent series. Right now I'm in the middle of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I'm about halfway through that. I got it for Christmas and then just haven't gotten a chance to get back to it yet. The last shows that I watched, I watched a full episode of Parks and Rec and then I think I watched the first half of an episode of Community. The last person that I physically talked to was my boyfriend, Jordan. The last person I texted was my boyfriend's mom. I have a couple of favorite foods. My all-time favorite food would have to be spaghetti with meat sauce and garlic bread. But if I go out to eat, a lot of the times I'm going to try to find the best cheeseburger that I possibly can. I haven't traveled a whole lot, so there are a ton of places that I would love to visit, but right now I think at the top of my list would be London. The last place I was, I guess, and currently am, is my apartment, but prior to that, the last place I was was CVS. I'm in a relationship, and I've been in a relationship for about two and a half years at this point, so I guess yes, still? Last night. 
I am honestly not entirely sure the last time I was insulted. I'm sure at some point in the last, you know, month or so I was, but I can't think of one specifically. I am a big fan of milk chocolate and anything artificially grape flavored. I'm not an expert at any instruments, but I play several. I played flute all through middle school and high school. I played piccolo some in high school. I played a little bit of saxophone and I can pound out a few notes on piano. My favorite piece of jewelry that I wear almost every day is this necklace. It's got interchangeable little like pearl pieces and it has just a really pretty chain that my mom got me for either Christmas or my birthday a couple of years ago. The last sport I played was probably volleyball with my family when we were camping this summer. I don't play a whole lot of sports. The last song I sang was probably Say Something. I don't know that I particularly have a favorite chat-up line or like pickup line. Um, the one that comes to mind off the top of my head is, are you tired? Because you've been running through my mind all day. I don't think I've ever used it except for jokingly with friends when we were talking about bad pickup lines. Um, I guess the last person that I hung out with would be my boyfriend last night. I think these are just such a fun thing to do. They are a good way to spend some time. So I think anybody that's watching this that's willing to answer these questions and take the time should answer these questions. Alright, that is it for the TMI tag. So, hopefully you enjoyed watching and learning a little bit more about me. I enjoyed filming this tag. I think it's a lot of fun to answer questions like these. It really does take me back to those old MySpace and Facebook posts that people used to do um, when they were bored, because I just think it's fun to answer questions like this and think about what your answers are. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!